It's sectional girls bowling time, and before we get to the Hinsdale South sectional, let's pop into the Lockport sectional at Town & Country Lanes in Joliet, which was held on Friday. Neuqua Valley's Olivia Hernandez is the lone Wildcat representative. She will not be advancing to state, but she caps off a strong senior season with a great final game. To say that Lockport dominated the sectional is an understatement. Four of the top five overall scores were Porters, as the host team won by over 700 pins. Oswego, Stag, and Shepard all move on to state as well. Now to the Saturday sectional at Hinsdale South, Matia Valley hoping to make it back to state, as are the regional champions, Downers Grove South. Naperville Central junior Sky Sanford brought along a big cheering section of teammates to provide support. Sanford with a strong start right near the top five, but her six game total of 1,038 is not enough to advance the state. A great season for the Red Hawk. The top four team scores advance to the Cherry Bowl in Rockford next week. Matia Valley senior Elizabeth Mansmith with a slow developing strike as she gets off to a great start to her day. A series of 1,156 puts her in the top 10 overall. Mustang junior Shelly Hess stepping in for a couple games after the midday break. She gets a strike here as Matia is in the top four after the first four games. The Dukes of York sees the lead after the second game and do not let go, making the rest of the sectional a battle for second. But that means there are still three state spots up for grabs. Matia Valley senior Holly Dudlasek with a strike here in game five to help keep pace. Another Mustang senior, Sydney Lewis, getting stronger as the day goes along. This is one in a string of seven consecutive strikes in game five as MV pulls into second place. Another senior wearing gold and black is Jasmine Allen, and another strong performance after finishing as the runner-up at regionals, as Allen rolls a strike and gets into the top 15 overall. Downers Grove South is right there with Matia as well. Regional champion Julia Frauendorf helps the blue and white Mustangs punch their tickets to state with a fourth place finish. Sydney Lewis finishes off another great round, a fantastic spare pickup here. Her score of 1,237 puts her in second place as the Mustangs are going back to state with a third place team finish. The third state trip in program history along with 2020 and 2014. It's a great day to be a Mustang. The Morton Mustangs are also heading to state after a second place team finish. York is the sectional champion led by junior Jeremiah Bolden with a score of 1,292. The Cherry Bowl awaits with the state prelims next Friday. It feels amazing. We've been working towards this like whole season. That was the goal. We missed out on it last year and we were just so hungry to go get it. Like that was what we wanted to do, but there's still more that we want to do. Like we want to get to day two. So we're excited now, but we still know there's more work to be done. It feels amazing. You know, we went to state my sophomore year and we did pretty good in that and then last year we unfortunately were robbed of a state um, which really it hurt um, and we had a lot of seniors graduate last year too so in a way this was kind of for them as well as for our current team because they didn't get a state last year and I'm just so happy that I was able to be a part of this team and I get to take these newer girls who haven't been to state to state and Everyone just did amazing today, and I'm so proud of everyone on the team. We were real disappointed last year knowing what a strong team we had going into the season last year, and to not be able to have a, a true IHSA state tournament was really disappointing. Um, so this one is extra, extra special. The girls uh, from the day wanted to dedicate that to their previous players like Meredith and Bella and Aaliyah, um, knowing that you know they were an important part of building this today. So it is extra, extra special. 